Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iPhone 12 on the iOS 15.3 Beta 1. We are also going to talk about the iOS 15.3 Beta 2 release date. When will Apple release the iOS 15.3 Beta 2? My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. If you are into Apple related content and love watching some tech videos, let's get right in today's video without wasting any more time. Alright, so Apple released the iOS 15.3 Beta 1 a while back like it's been two weeks that apple released the ios 15.3 beta 1 to developers and after two weeks we have yet to wait for the beta 2 i think is that apple will start uh, sending out the normal and will be back on the normal date schedule as soon as this week or maybe the next week if not this week next week will be we will be getting the beta 2 of ios 15.3 for short but according to my predictions that i did last week was that in the first week of january they will release the beta 2 and then in the second week we may see the beta 3 then in the third week we will see the rc and uh, by the starting of february or uh, in the last few days of january we will eventually see uh, ios 15.3 releasing to public still this is all prediction if history is an indication we will see this happen but as of now it is not confirmed at all all right in fact it is not confirmed any time it is just all youtubers are just predicting according to uh, their analysis and all talking about the iphone 12 on ios 15.3 i have been using my iphone 12 on this firmware for a long time now by a long time i mean two weeks since basically it was out i am using my device every single day on this firmware and uh, i gotta say that it is much more stable than i thought it would be because uh, beta 1 usually are not the best in terms of stability i have like uh, pretty much all the time i do face a lot of banking apps problems with my uh, iphones on the, the beta 1 of new ios firmwares ios 15 has been really really buggy that's no doubt about it it does not matter you are on a beta or on a public version you will see bugs on ios because uh heck yeah by the way here is a funny incident so for people who do follow me on twitter at the rate tech hype by the way i would recommend you guys following me on twitter because i post a lot of dope content there so for people who do follow me on twitter you guys know that i recently went to an apple store near me and uh, so basically this apple store i buy pretty much every single apple product um i mean my home pod my macbook and my iphone and all i have bought my iphone and everything Thing from this apple store so the thing is that uh, uh, i saw an apple watch and it was really bugged and when i asked the guy why is this apple watch bugged and by the way the apple watch was not on a beta stage or anything it was on a public version and uh, for people who don't know the there is a much more stable version of ios slash watch os slash mac which is installed in the demo units of iphones and uh, macbooks and all because you know you just do not want customers to use your product and be like why the hell is this thing so buggy so the funny incident is that when i asked the guy uh, when i asked the apple employee that why is this apple watch bugged he literally replied with no sir this is normal i mean bro you could <laughs> anyways leaving jokes aside you can follow me on twitter i do post and talk to every one of you on dms and all so you can talk to me on twitter because i'm most active there now talking about the iphone 12 in terms of battery life so my iphone 12 battery health see it's been one year that i have owned this device by the way i even celebrated the birthday of my iphone i even posted some tweets you can see on the screen right that's why you should follow me on twitter so the battery health on my device is 87 percent now you guys may be wondering that how the hell your battery health went from 108% to 87 in just one year it was actually under an year because it is still at 87% and it reached 87% like uh, two weeks ago I guess yes so 87% which means 13% drop in less than an year how the hell I managed to do that don't worry it is normal right you know I am on betas and uh, see it's my job to make videos on 
on apple products and uh, apple products running beta so that uh, everything works good for you and uh, you guys do not want to face all the issues that i am facing so it is basically my job so i don't mind just please just don't come in my dms and say oh my god i'm so sorry your battery health is so low come on just get, get, get a life bro all right thank you so much for watching this video at the end of the day my final verdict is that uh, apple have released a really great beta and uh, i would not still recommend people to install this beta on their primary device maybe on your secondary device yes it is a great update to install on your secondary iphone or an ipad but yes it needs some work still because in banking apps and all i do still sometimes like uh, one time out of 10 times i do see some bugs and crashes which at the end of the day is a big issue for a lot of people out there including me see I, I have a lot of phones so i can bear with it and i can run all those banking apps and all on my ipad and on my phone like my iphone 10r or any other phone but the thing is that for people who do not own a lot of phones but still want to be on a beta uh, you guys do not want to install this beta on your device thank you so much for watching this video till the end this is me tech hyped aka jess signing off i will catch you guys in the very next episode peace I'm